What up y'all, it's your homeboy Justin. And first of all, happy new year. Second of all, yes, we're back in the bathroom one more again. And third of all, um, I'm bringing you a dreadlock style tutorial today. I read your comments on my last video and I wanna do more stuff of what you guys wanted to see. It really doesn't make sense if I'm making content that y'all ain't even watching. So, one of the things y'all was talking about was dreadlock style tutorials and I'm here to bring you a fresh new one. First new video for the year, I figure we might as well just start off with a bang. So we got this cool, interesting kind of, it's like a twisted cornrow dreadlock thing. I don't know what to call it. It's going to be called something, but <laughs> without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so first of all, you want to moisturize your locks. Um, what I normally do is just a quick mix of, let's see, Jamaican black castor oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, a little bit of coconut, depending on the day. But if you want more detail into why I use all those things, check out this link right here, okay? So first, moisturize your locks. The second thing we're gonna do is to do this style, it's basically just doing, I would say, um, Dutch braiding or cornrowing or French braiding your hair. You're going to grab about three locks and you're just going to twist them in your hand just like this. Just twisty, twisty, twist. And then you're just going to hold it up right there. And then I'll take another batch of locks, about three to four, twist it up, and then go over those locks. And then I'm going to take another set of locks like that and when you twist you kind of want to pull upward so that way you twist so that way the root of the locks is kind of centered and not too close to the um, edge of your head you also don't want it too far back so kind of just twist it and pulling your locks evenly that way and then folding it over and then hold it down and then the same thing pulling it upward as you twist. And so you'll see, you'll start to get this kind of zigzag pattern of the locks and you'll continue that all the way through your head. And so as you're going, you're just taking like, I would say linear sections, but you're going diagonally because of the, how the dreadhawk works down your head. And so you'll do that. Take another section of hair. Twist, twist, and then go up so like that. So you'll just continue that all the way down your head until you reach probably the top of the of your neck is where you want to stop. corner pattern on the top and how the twists work and then once you get back to the bottom or once you get to the back of your neck that's where you'll do this next step what you'll want to do is you want to grab some locks on each side I just have about three on each side three or four however many you want to do and you can take those locks and do the turn or do the twist like you were doing or you can just take them and tie them up in a knot which is what I normally do so you just take that Take those locks under and secure like so. And then for an extra step, what you can do is take each of these locks that you tied up and then just do little bows like this. You will have that and then we'll get on to this next part which we'll do a fishtail braid. Or you're gonna take the locks from the back and then just take them and wrap them up to the front like so and just use your fingers to hold it over where it was so you'll take another lock go over there take another lock from behind and go over 
and you're just gonna do that all the way down the braid. Towards the end, I got kind of lazy with that, but let me hey, it's your hair, do what you want to do. After you do that, secure a throttle band, some sort, and then you can leave the braid down. Also, I mean, if your locks are a lot longer, you can make a much larger fishtail braid and just let it go all the way down your back, however far it goes. What I'm gonna do, because I don't like it hanging down, is I'm going to take it and fold it underneath itself and then take a larger band and secure the tail that way so you'll have this just kind of stuff the locks however you want it to go <laughs> <laughs> but you'll do that and so that'll be your final part <laughs> difficult style that I've done um, and definitely not the easiest one if you want more easier styles check out this video where I did 10 quick lock styles in 30 seconds or less okay check that one out because this is a little bit of a thing um, it doesn't take me too long it takes me about mm, five to ten minutes and obviously this looks different than other iterations of this because of my dreadhawk style I don't have to hear the side so you can't really pull locks all the way from the bottom and kind of two strand twist them up into this type of updo but I like how it looks. It's very, uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> well, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions about this style or anything dreadlock related or hair related, hit me up down there in the comment section. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, click that button, you know. All right, well, that's it, y'all. I will see you when I see you. Peace. Well, you made it to the end. Thank you. Um, click that subscribe icon if you haven't already, okay? Um, last week's video is up there. I just wanna thank you all for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. Let's keep it moving. Like, share, okay? Spread the word of this. And if you wanna check any more stuff out, look in that Dreadlock Style Tutorial playlist.